Yo, yo, what's up? What's up? What's happening? What's going on? I'm Michael Parnas. I'm the uh, the guy who needs to shave. I don't know what. I you know sometimes I don't know. I don't know. All right. So we're gonna talk about the market. Forget about my goatee. Forget about it. All right. Just forget about. It. I do. That's you know. All right. So what's the market doing here? What are we gonna talk about today? Let's talk about how beautiful this market is. You know, it's the kind of market as a trader. You know, you just want to make love to it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. And uh, why is that? Because it's volatile. It's volatile. It's volatility. We love volatility. Um, I'll tell you. Lots to talk about today. This market on the on the verge teetering on the verge of collapse chaos anarchy raining meteors uh i can't think of any other things to say about that what's up with british petroleum i don't know you know if you're a shareholder of that stock i'm sorry but you know you deserve what you're getting at this point i'm sorry you know I'm sorry. I'm not really sorry. I'm sorry for the Gulf. I'm not sorry for you. Sell your freaking shares. Teach them a lesson. Teach that arrogant CEO a lesson. Oh, I'm not worried about anything. Yeah, all right. You know what? I am. I'm worried because I can't eat any shrimp out of the, sh- out of the Gulf Coast. And I love Gulf shrimp. And I can't eat it. So I'm worried. I don't think you need anything out of that ocean at this point, out of the neck of the ocean. Uh, The oceans have necks, I don't know. Anyways, I'm just saying. I hope that stock goes to zero, and that's it. Zero. Crush it. Sell. Take a stance. Unite. Anyways, all right, I don't really know what I'm talking about with BP. I mean, I've been short it for a little while here, so I'm making some cash on it, some buck. So I'm happy about that. You know, that's my job. My job is to try to make money no matter what the market does. And sometimes I do it really good, and sometimes I do it not so good. And sometimes I even do it putridly. Having said that, these days doing okay, doing okay. We we called the oil... I mean, not oil. Ooh, that'd be horrible. Gas, natural gas long, which I still like, even though it's pulling back here today. I think uh, it will go much higher. That's the bullish trend that is in the market right now. And we call this market short. So you can't ask for more than that. Uh, Today, we gapped up, which I have no idea what anybody was thinking with that one. I mean, that was like real brain surgery. Hey, let's buy the market because it's just so strong. Uh, and then we uh, we succeeded in getting crushed below the magical uh, 1050 um, mark on the S&P. In fact, we on the e- E-mini futures, we went, I think we went all the way down to 1040, didn't we? Let me see. Let me look. 1041.25, which I think a lot of people were looking to step into the market around there. So we uh, we actually uh, bought some stuff. You know, mixed results, but but we try. Um, you know, from here, I think I'm if I gotta say, usually I have a pretty strong opinion. Today, intraday, I can't really have one. I, I would lean long, but I mean, I certainly wouldn't stick around for the bloodbath that could follow. Watch that 1050 mark on the S&P. Uh, that is just so key here because that would be a, a break of, of the uh, new range that we've carved out. Um, and that could lead us down back down to that 1040 area or lower. If we hold below that 1050, the new range might be like 1025 to 1050 on the uh, S&P. I don't know. It's a sad, sad world we live in that the market just doesn't go up every day anymore. 
course, yesterday was yesterday. I think uh, my favorite person, Abby. Yep, Abby Goldman. Yeah. She uh, she predicted uh, much higher prices. It's all priced in. Apparently, the market didn't really uh, care. Goldman yesterday came out with a 190 price target on Amazon. How they making out on that call? Hmm, not so good. Not so good. Oh, I don't know. It's all about trading. You can call in today and talk to me about trading, about any stock you like. You name it, I will talk about it. I'll say something about it. I might say I have no clue, but I'll say something about it. 877-242-8212. Lots of good stuff going on for me personally, which I'll take a moment. Love it when good things are happening. So, got to thank God and the powers that be. Be grateful. Good stuff happening. Uh, I have a new show, radio show. I think I just got asked to host a new show. Huh? I'm looking to expand this one into other areas. Very happy about that. Apparently the trader speaks and some people listen. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? So, uh, got some other good stuff. I don't know. You know, I'm bubbling over today. I'm bubbling over. Lots, of, lots to be grateful for. Amazing things happening in my life. Kids' school is over soon. Got to plan the vacation. Huh? How about that? Where should we go? I'll tell you one place we're not going. I'm sorry. We're not going to the Gulf Coast right now. Okay? We're not going to go swimming. You know why? Because the dummies didn't think about what to do before there was an oil leak into the middle of the ocean that's destroying everything. I can't, I can't watch the news. I can't. I can't watch, like, these birds that have oils on them. Uh, oil, not oils. It sounds like they're getting a massage. Oil on them, like black soot. It's like the Beverly Hillbillies have now, like, taken over the ocean. Okay, Jed, Clampett, and the rest, Ma and and uh, Jethro, right? Who else was there? Just Fannie Mae, or well, I don't know. Fannie Mae is a stock. Uh, Freddie Mac, I don't know. Anyways, uh, they've taken they they moved from Texas, from black gold and uh, black gold in Texas to uh, uh, a murky oil sludged sea off the shores of Louisiana and such. This is horrible. This is a tragedy. Seriously. I'm I'm being serious now. Doesn't happen often, but I am. Very, very disturbing images. And I, I can't watch like the uh the, the, the oil rig uh the oil, what's it called? What are they called? The, the oil cam or whatever they call that thing that they're now showing that everybody seems to be watching still. I, I can't watch it anymore. I, I see it because I got to watch CNBC all day. But I, I can't. It's, it's horrible. It's disgusting. I, I, it's like, oh, my God. We've now succeeded in polluting the entire ocean. Well, not really. That's a, that's a gross exaggeration. But don't worry. We'll get there. We will get there. Anyways, uh, we have uh, line one. We got Mike from Nashville. Mike, you there? I'm here, Waxy. How are you, bud? Well, since we're polluting the Gulf of Mexico, uh, let's see if we can stop polluting the airwaves and talk about some stock. Are you up for that? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Talk to me about Caterpillar, man. Uh, assuming the stock market doesn't collapse, where do you think our friends over at CAT are going near term? Well, you know, t right now we are like, as I started the show by saying, we're, we're really at an inflection point in the market here, I think. I mean, we, we, I think we're pretty close to getting a decent sized squeeze. We, we tried to squeeze here intraday. Uh, we've pulled back off that, uh, off that point. Um, uh, let's see, the, uh, 